I was frustrated because uh, I'm still Raiders fan, but obviously I'm with you two knuckleheads, and I care a lot about the freaking Browns. I was going to say, you sound so conflicted as a fan. I know. My I mother-in-law know. said to me, I'm going to take a video of you cheering when the Browns retook the lead. I was like, yes! And she's like, I'm going to take a video and send it to your father. What's happening, Browns fan? That's Kellen Conley. That's Anthony Sellers. That's Eric Jordan. And this is Browns, Browns in, in Our Blood. Blood. Episode uh, 9, Season 2. Episode 9. Did the Raiders win the game or did the refs determine the game? Did the refs beat the Browns or did the Oakland Raiders beat the Browns on Sunday? Refs blew that call. The refs blew it. I can't, I can't say all I want to say about the refs right now. Yeah? Yeah, it's not PG. Yeah. No. Yeah, and the league stood by them. Is correct? it PG thirteen? No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, and the league, from my heard, stood by the refs. I definitely a bad call by the refs, but where I'm at, four turnovers. It gotta be better than that, man. Raiders only had two turnovers. We have four turnovers, two fumbles, two interceptions. It's all by our beautiful quarterback, and he's beautiful. Believe me, he can throw that thing. He's <laughs> he's a beautiful specimen. male specimen. Yeah. We coming. we got the real deal in QB, but he just got to grow. We can't do four turnovers like that. No, that's and, true. And expect to, and expect to win, especially a tough tough game like that. Um, I definitely think the refs cost the Browns a game. I'm a Raiders fan. I'm not wearing Raiders gear because I'm not happy the direction my franchise right now because I don't believe in John Gruden. But that's a side point. Well, you see how us Browns fans, we went 0-16 last year. Yeah. You see nothing but Browns on us, so. Yeah. You can see the difference also, between I'm Raiders really, fans really and Browns fans. I'm really happy to wear my Wolfpack shirt because I've been waiting to be debut on this on the show and I haven't been here in like three weeks. So that fumble should have been taken in for a touchdown, and I was really upset in the third and fourth quarter when turnovers were causing the Raiders to get touchdowns, and they retook the lead. And I didn't want to win the game because of mistakes or because of the refs. I wanted to actually go out and beat y'all straight up. And we didn't do that until the final possession of the game, and we did it in overtime. Those are only two. When the game, towards the end, like we made the plays that needed to be done to win the, the eight points and ended up winning the game. The defense forced those turnovers, though. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. The, the first fumble from... The first interception the first, wasn't first, Baker's fault. The first fumble from... Mayfield was that was the one the D, that was because of the D line pushing the offensive line back. The defense made the true. Play. Like, Baker wasn't ready for the snap though either. That's the second one. No, second one. Oh, well Baker wasn't ready for a snap on the second one. I agree. The first one though, that 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 ball should have been caught. He should. I know. Yeah, I know. It's a tough. So tough many dropped. The first it was a interception. Tough yeah. Oh yeah. But you can't. You can't. There was miss miss passes, like drops on both sides of the ball. They got better. Landry, they got better during Russell. the game. Got on, but the beginning. Well, it was it was still throughout the game for both sides. I yeah. think because it was Marshawn uh, dropped. Marshawn dropped two. Seth Roberts dropped one. Martavis Bryant mm-hmm. dropped. A couple. Martavis, I uh, sent y'all a video of Martavis dropping that bomb. On Cleveland side, it was Landry, uh, Callaway, mm-hmm. Higgins, and Njoku. So I mean, it was mm-hmm. all across the board on every side, both sides. So, and even even with everything that happened between the refs and the turnovers, y'all had the ball with three minutes left. And I was like, surely they can run the clock down. They can run it down for three minutes. And I went to do something, I came back, and y'all were punting again. Right. And I was like, I was frustrated because I, I'm still a Raiders fan, but obviously I'm with you two knuckleheads, and well, I care a lot about the freaking Browns. I was going to say, you sound so conflicted as a fan. <sighs> I know. My hey. mother-in-law said to me, <laughs> I'm going to take a video of you cheering. When the Browns retook the lead, I was like, yes! And she's like, I'm going to take a video and send it to your father. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, go ahead, because I don't want to win because of Turnovers, like if we beat them straight up, fine. But I don't want it to be because of the refs. I don't want it to be because of turnovers. I want to win an outright football game. And I really felt like the game was handed to us on a platter several times yeah. in the fourth quarter. And then that we just pulled it out. You got to learn how to win. You got to learn when you got all the talent in the world. But if you can't close, you can't close. It's like when me and you play NBA 2K. Mm-hmm. I'll be busting you, right? You but used to be busting me. Pause. That sounds so bad, yeah. <laughs> Bust it, baby! <laughs> but... But three quarters, I play hyphen really good. I'm leading all the time. Fourth quarter. Not like the last four or five times, but go ahead. Stop bringing it up. You know what I'm trying to make a point here, okay? But got to learn how to close. But, yo, 
bake some of that passion. Bake time, bake time. Like 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 yo, like I'm watching Mahomes last night, which is just. <sighs> I arch. saw the highlights this That's morning. Just that left handed pass was nuts. That boy is special. Nuts. But I'm on. And of good. course he's on the freaking Chiefs. <laughs> I hate the Chiefs. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the accuracy of Mahomes and Baker. Man, those yeah. guys, man, they, they are so accurate with their throws. Arnold and Allen, I don't know yet. I'm still out there, man. But when it comes to accuracy, man, phew, that's just something you can't teach, man. They they, they special with that ball. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just like watching watching Bake is, is going to be great. What was his? He had, what, 296? Bake had 21. He was 21 for 41, 295, two TDs, and two interceptions. Yeah. But what they don't have in there is four turnovers. Yeah. Should Nick Chubb get more carries? So. Speaking of Nick Chubb, he had three touches or two touches? Three okay. touches. Three touches. Oh, three five, touches, 105 five yards. yards. and yeah. two TDs. So. And um, then not like Hyde didn't have a bad game. Hyde had a great game, too. Right. He had great, absolute great game. And, I, and, and so what are your thoughts, Anthony, on why Chubb didn't get the ball more past I three touches, there. especially with as good as well as he was doing against the Raiders? Because they want Hyde to give you that workhorse back, I think. Because he gets better as the game goes on. He does. And you, we've seen it all season. Yeah. So I think it's just hard because they're both, in my mind, Chubb and Hyde are the same kind of back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think they're just going with more experience right now. Yeah. And this is the healthiest Hyde's been in seasons, yeah. years. Yeah, and, Chubb, so, and Chubb's going to help that state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Duke is getting lost in the sauce, though. I, I noticed that because this is the first yeah. Browns game I got to watch, and they even they don't really use a lot of passes well, to the well, halfbacks right I, now. I expect that to change because because okay. now the Bakes back there, Bakes going to find Duke more. Yeah, I think I think, I think now it's going to change a little bit. Like the offense is going to expand. Yeah, because I think they knew Tyrod's limitations. Like you said, yeah, they wanted him to just manage and get through until they thought Bake was ready. Like we talked about that last week. Rashard Higgins should be looking at film right now and be like, "Yo, this could be." how my career changes right now. This could be when I become elite. Look at that film and just see how this boy puts them balls in all them places where other QBs can't. Because he's think, already got a pretty decent record with yes, her rapport with yes, Baker. Yes, yeah. I'm telling you. I think this is going to pan out. When it's all said and done, and because Tyra, cause, cause Juice is going to be caught, catching so much coverage. Everybody's going to be yeah, covering Juice. Yeah, and they Juice. moved Ju- Jarvis around, too. They, yeah. put, they had, like, there was a third and four play in the second quarter. They had him back in the shotgun to Baker's right, right. and they just he just did a little like check down route basically. Right. And they, they threw it to him, Baker threw it to him right away, and it got the first down. Like they're moving him around a lot more. Right. Than what I remember him moving in Miami. Right. 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 And that's and, so and, that's why I mean I think the offense. That's why I say yeah, I think it's really going to expand, start yeah. start expanding, and we're going to start seeing a lot more. And of that's where everybody. I was going to with this this thing. Rashad, I'm telling you, boy, your career can change. By the end of this season, you can be up there and people talking about, yo, you could be the guy nobody was talking about. Who was that guy last year? Who was that guy last year that nobody was thinking about as a receiver and just came out and was like, I got to have him this year? Geronimo Allison, though. Mm, yeah, he's yeah. kind of. Yeah, he's jumping. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's the perfect one right there, Geronimo Allison for the for the for the Packers, because everybody was and you know he kind of like came and you know he wasn't guaranteed a spot and all that, but just had a rapport with Rogers. Rogers goes to him, you know what I'm saying? I see that same thing happen with Rashad and Baker. Or Callaway's going to get all those catches. <sighs> I don't see that consistency with Callaway. I I I think it's going to take Callaway. I think he reaches his potential, but it might not be till next year. Okay. And I think he's, he's going. And I think he's going to have some hot games, and I'm going to think be, be some games where he disappears. But I, I think the, that. But I think the consistency is going to be definitely going to be Juice. I think the person who benefits off off um, Juice and Baker the most will be Rashad Higgins. Okay. The Browns are almost two one and one. They were yeah. almost two one and one. The following is a most long public service announcement. Let me tell you the most important thing. About this game. We tied with the Steelers. <laughs> we both won two and one. Once again, this has been a monster long public service announcement. So, speaking of moving on, y'all now have in the backfield, Carlos Hyde, who's having a healthy season for the first time in ages. We mentioned that before. Mm-hmm. Nick Chubb, who just had his best game in the NFL as a rookie so far, 105 yards rushing, two touchdowns. 
And then Duke Johnson, who we mentioned isn't seeing a lot of the passes or anything like that. That's three really good running backs in a seemingly getting crowded backfield. Or is Eric, do you want to move on from any of those? Do you want to keep them along, around as long as possible? I want to keep them as long as, as, long as, as possible. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think to me right now, the standard NFL team has, you know, two to three good running backs. And her, and the thing, especially with Duke, because Duke is different than Hyde and Chubb. They got their own shot. To me, they're both very similar. But also with the style that Chubb and Hyde runs with, it can be injury prone. So you need both of them. But I don't think neither one. Hyde is pretty good with his catching out the backfield. But I don't, I mean, Duke, come on, Duke. Duke could be a receiver. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Are you worried about the defensive struggles against the Raiders? We have a lot of points on defense. Was was it, and do you think what we talked about last kind of, kind of like what we talked about last week and what we were scared about happening last week happened? Amari and Jordy, yeah, kind of were very productive. And Jared Cook was too. Yeah, Jared Cook had a ridiculous game. He had like eight what, eight catches. I think. Yeah, I was okay. I was gonna yeah. say about defense that this is probably the longest that you guys have been on the field defensively this, this season. Is, yeah. And I think that hurt y'all going, like, the later, obviously, the longer your game went, the longer y'all were on the field. Defense was tired. In that first half, y'all looked immaculate. And in the second half, as the Raiders were on the field more due to turnovers or just mistakes or not moving the ball down the field, y'all were on the field longer. Um, is that something that concerns you as much as it did last year? No, because I think as many possessions that were in that game overall was, was an anomaly for our, the type of games that we play mm -hmm. in general. Right. I agree. So yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Like that, that's yeah. true. I I think that's not too much of a concern. And right now, now that I think about it, I really think that the high the higher scoring game really played into the style the Raiders play because even when the Raiders had a winning year like three seasons ago, and they went before Carr got hurt, they were always in shootouts, and they didn't play as well when it was a low scoring defensive game. If it had been that kind of thing, I don't even think it goes overtime. I think you guys pull it out. And also. It also um, um, impacts experienced players more. Experienced players know what these scenarios are like and know what it takes. And to the do. Raiders are the oldest team in the league, and we're the youngest team in the league. Yeah. So, so I think that was a big difference. And also, but at the same time, we got that experience under our belt. I will say too that I think I jinxed it because I said on last week's episode that the Raiders only scored three points in the first three games in the fourth quarter, oh. and then they turn around and score what? 20. It was just something. It's there. Anthony's fault. Yeah. We lost call last week because of Anthony. <laughs> who uh, who y'all got coming up this His week? His phone number is 304. Don't let you do that. 8675309. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Miles Garrett did look good, though. Oh, Miles, oh, yeah. his, run, his run defense looked better. You know who really looked good, though? Beast mode. Oh, Beast mode looked amazing. He had, like, his best game as a Raider. Yeah. Joe Scobert looked good. He made some. Schobert. Joe Scobert looked good. <laughs> Joe Schobert looked good. He was in on many plays, and I enjoyed his play despite him tackling Raiders. And he's always making plays. He's yeah. he's the backbone of our defense, and people just don't get enough credit because we got some stars on defense. What are your predictions for the game against the Baltimore Ravens? All right, so rivalry game. Going to Baltimore Sunday, 1 p.m. to play the hated. Division, second place, whoops, the play that hated Baltimore Ravens. I thought they were in first. We will get Debo in here for the next. Technically, they're tied. We'll get Debo. I remember who we had last year, my boy Debo. He came in, Derek. He, he came, we'll get him here next week to do a recap of the game. What are your thoughts on the Ravens game? Uh, Ravens are scary. Yeah. Ravens are scary. That Flacco defense. looks like a regular quarterback again for the first time in a couple yeah, years. Yeah, they got some talent on, on both sides. And, I'm, and, I'm, and then I've been scared of that defense ever since they got – um, Weddle, yeah, he's just one of those. He's a, he's an Earl Thomas like, you know, impact. Shout out to Earl Thomas. Yeah, that, they, they they spooky, but we home, and I don't think they. I don't know. I don't. I think it's very we're hard. Not, no. We're not the same team. Yeah, we're so we're a lot better. And I think we're. I think it's very hard to prepare for Baker. I think it's very hard to prepare. You, you don't know it till it's you. It's not know. a lot of film on him right now, and that's always yeah. an advantage when you got those really coming. Or and I even backs. think with film, it's hard to like. You know, he just, he just, he got. He's just a player. Yeah. He a pl he playmaker. Playmaker. Yeah. Big time, big time. It's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. But offensively, they don't scare me. 
Offensively, they don't scare me. I think our defense can handle their O. Um, it's just can we put up numbers against their D. Mm -hmm. And I do think they can do that. I think we got to we got to hold on to the ball though, and we got to protect the ball. Yeah, I think we got to catch passes, and we can't turn over the ball. If we can do that, I think we can beat Baltimore. I think we got to control it, like more of the run game. Mm -hmm. Do that one-two punch yeah. with with Chubb and Hyde. Yeah, Chubb and get Hyde. Get that line. Get Duke out there on, like in the slot and on the receiver stuff. Mixed. Mix it up. Yeah, I, I'm on some of them. Some plays, some of that play calling, and the, I'm not in love with either. Uh, some of the play calls I do like, but some of the stuff like those three runs at the end of the, you know, I like. Man, you gotta let Bake go. I don't. I, I don't like the grind it out and run clock out. Let that boy just go. Let him be him. And, but I uh, think we gotta shorten the game. Like shortening the game by doing that grind and clock out, it helps. It'll help him in the long run for this season too. I think I, 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 I think so. I, I, mean, I, I no, I get what you're saying because I think I think that's what you, I think that's what good teams do. There's got to be a balance for both. I get that, but like I think in certain situations, there's got to be times where they just they should just grind it out and try to limit limit them just to give our defense a rest, keep keep them off the field, and to make sure that their offense doesn't have any extra possessions. I get that, and I think that's what good experienced teams do. But I think young a young team like us. Rhythm is a thing, and if he gets rhythm. I don't know until he learns how to control rhythm, turn it on and off. I think right now when it's on, just let it go on until he until they get more experience. But I'm not gonna question. Overall, Todd Haley does a great job. Okay, I ain't gonna. I'm just I'm just kind of like nitpicking right. And now. and really, if any of those, if that first or second run had went for ten yards, then that's the game right there. Yeah. So, I'm predicting the Browns win on Sunday. I'm predicting the Browns win on Saturday too. I'm not gonna go separate. I mean, come on now. <laughs> well, well you're here for the whole season. You're here for the whole season yeah. now, buddy. Yeah, yeah. He's like this. He's like this. Join our FanDuel Fantasy Football League. I love touch it. I love touch it because he won this week. He won this week. There's a FanDuel league. He won this week. And so more people play. played this week. It was the most of the season so far. We had. This guy, who's the reigning defending undisputed champion. You don't get it yet. Let me see this. Look, look how ridiculous what? this is. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. I should have brought in my little championship belts. for like, you hey, guys. You're not, the champ you're not the champion, though. He's the, he's the champion. I play like a champion every day, even and though then, I hate it. And, and when you lost yours in your league, did you mail it off to the winner? Um. Well, there's no championship belt in our league. Huh? I gave the elite championship back or did to the winner when I won a couple did years you? ago. Yeah. Okay, all right. I just yeah. want to double check. I, I give up the because if you win in this league, I will mail you the I will mail you the belt. Anyway, he, I won Fanduel. You won this. I one? beat this guy again. Two weeks running. Yeah. Anthony got in there and MI got in there and they lost to me, but he still got the overall lead. So right now he's in the lead for this season. But if you want to play with us and play for money, we need six people. So. I'm spitting. I don't care. We need six people, and you get in there, you can win some money on Fanduel. Links in the bio. Get it. Links in the description. Let's are you gonna? It. Are we gonna talk about me beating you in a regular fantasy this week, Baker? 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 Hmm. Hmm. You wanna talk about that at all? I lost everything. I I, no. I was zero and four in all my leagues. We and look, last night I lost one twenty five ninety eight. That's who beat me one twenty five ninety eight. I had one twenty five eighty six point eighty six. I need one more pass from Emmanuel Sanders. Go oh, check us out on YouTube. Man, subscribe to the channel. It's Monster Lung Sound Vision. Go up there, like, leave comments. We've been having great discussion in the comments section. Let's keep it going, shout guys. Shout out to the comments. Yes, man. and shout out to our people in Australia. Shout out to Australia. Awesome. Yeah, you come from a land down under. <laughs> yeah, yes. Big shout out to my people out there. And, um, yeah, but comment, like, hit the like button. Definitely hit the alarm button. Hit that bell. Hit that button. And, uh, yeah. Also, you can check us out. <laughs> also, check us out on the Hyphen Podcast group. You can um, get your Hyphen Podcast. Um, get it all podcast forms at the Hyphen Podcast group. Dot com. Dot com. The link will be down there in the description. And, Absolutely. And, and go buy your shirt. You can go get a hyphen podcast group shirt and Browns and Our Blood shirts are coming. Yeah, they're coming. I'm just, yeah, so our yeah. fans in Aussie can rep. Yeah. Yes. Cheer. Definitely. Definitely. So until we speak next time, 
and the Browns have beaten the Ravens. That's Anthony Sellers. That's Kevin Conley. And this is Eric Jordan. And this is Browns, Browns in our blood. blood. Let's go beat the Ravens, y'all.